All right, folks, well, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to time one of these engines uh, just using a 9 volt battery and a trouble light. I'll show you how I hook this up in a little bit, but first I'm going to show you what I have to do. So I'm going to turn this light on. This light is on dim. I'm going to put this little can in here. I gotta roll this key to the top on the crankshaft and I'm gonna take a look, see where this flywheel goes. Okay, so this flywheel, the key is at the top. I see the window opening here. That window opening has to have this little guy in it to work. So since the key is at the top, this window opening should be, that should stick through the window opening about there. Now, let's slide this on there. So I know where that goes. There we go. Now that light should dim when this lines up here, but I have to put it in the fully advanced mode. I'm going to spin this nut on a little wee bit here just to make sure it doesn't come loose on me. Okay. So what is going on here? Still a little past it. It should be there. So it is still, still has to be moved. So we're going to loosen this. Take this off again. Your advance has to be fully advanced too. So I just reach in there and do that with my hands. So I'd have to loosen that. Turn this a little more. This, loosen this, and it gets turned just a little wee bit, a little wee bit more. Loosen this up some more here. Overturn it too much, but I'm going to go to about there and try that. Maybe too much. We're going to see here. Make sure that's still opening good. Yeah, okay, so that's good. That's opening up nicely as well. Okay. Roll this keyway to the top again. Turn this on an angle about there. Slide this on there. It's not going to cause that one to trigger because, see that? If anything, that's a little too soon. I don't know if you can see that mark. I'm going to try to make this mark show up a little bit for you here. I can. So when this mark lines up with this guy right here, that light should go out. So let me see here. So, a little too soon. So I'm going to adjust that again. Loosen this and I'm going to turn it back just a little wee bit. This I'm just setting it for the top points, not the bottom ones. This one's just the top set of points. So this here has to go. We're going to thread this a little more here. This is very easy. I 
would say go there. I'm gonna try that right there. Just do it too much. Okay. So I'm going to show you how that works. I'm going to get this camera right up close and personal here for you folks, okay? I'm going to shut this light off here, or at least turn it down, so you can see what's going on here. Okay, so this line here, when it meets up with here, that light should dim. Can you see the light as well over there? So, you keep an eye on this line now. I'm going to advance this fully. As soon as that line hits up there, it should dim now. Yeah, it did. So see how that's, so that's how you set that. But this advance here has to be all the way advanced. You got to push that open with your fingers. That's how you adjust it in the advance mode. So see that line lining up there? Bang. That light dims. So this line, with this line, with this wide open, roll this over, and that light will go out when it's timed properly. Now we're going to turn it fully around. There's a line here now on the other side. Now we check the other coil. So you always do the top set of points first. Then if something happens, if you can't line it up this way by turning the stator, if they're not even, then you adjust the bottom set of points inside by changing the spark gap. This wipe come off on me here. I really should build an end for these, but I don't do this a lot. I will eventually do it. But, okay, so watch this. So now I'm going to hold the advance wide open. You see that change now. See that change mm -hmm. right there as it touches. Just as this line right here, this line lines up with this with the advance, that light should dim when it's in time. There. See that? Yep. So we are we are good. So that is fully in time, no problem at all. Okay, so as promised, I will show you exactly how I set this timing light up. What I do is I take a nine volt battery like this. You are better off with a, with a six volt battery, but I use a nine volt. You just can't run it too long with a nine volt. So what I do is I have a power wire running from the power side of the battery over to one side of this lamp. And then the other side of this lamp cord so I'll have that running to the, either the power or the ground of the lamp, and then the power or the ground of the lamp, the other one runs to one of these coil wires coming out of the engine. These come out of the engine. They run to each point, set of points. Now, the ground off this side of the battery runs down here and runs up, and I just have it hooked onto the motor mount. So again, a ground from the battery right to the motor mount and a light goes in between the power of the battery and the one coil wire. So you do the top set of points first with this little guy here on these older engines. This has to be wide open. You have to hold the advance all the way open. 
You can see this actually moving in the window here. I'm gonna see if I can get that to focus. So there we go. So this little guy in here, you're gonna see that when it goes into the advanced mode there. So you gotta hold that wide open. And then when this light wire, when this mark comes around up to here, that light should dim if your stator is right. As long as you have, I do 16 thousandths, 16 thousandths of an inch when I'm setting these. You can see that there, 16 thousandths of an inch. That's what I set my breaker points at. So you set the top set of points in there to open. And then once you get those 16 thousandths of an inch, I do the bottom 16 thousandths of an inch as well. Make sure the top set of points are opening at the right spot. And then I take the wire off the one, one set of points and I move it over to the other set of points and I adjust the bottom ones. So now I got lucky here. I didn't have to set the point gap at all, but sometimes if you're using older points, sometimes if that little shoe that rubs on your, your cam, your timing cam on the flywheel, if the shoe is wore a little bit, then you have to adjust the points at the bottom of the gap to adjust your timing because you've already turned the stator at the top to get it in time. So then you can't turn the stator again to adjust the bottom ones. You have to play with your point gap to get the bottom set of points set right. So that's exactly how you time one of these engines. Very, very easy. Um, anybody can do it. You just need a 12 volt light, six volt light, a buzzer, whatever you have, and just a small battery source. I do not like to run a 12 volt battery just because the 12 volt battery can burn these points because these points I'm not sure if they're 12 or 6 volt, but anyways, I use something low volts like that. Or I'll use a, a battery that's really, really low, like a battery that's been frozen that only reads about 11 volts. And that's exactly how I time these pretty easy.